Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I have bought another learning video. The learning video is to use manipulatives and how to learn. I'm going to show you the manipulatives that I use at home for my child to learn colors, concepts or even numbers or even counting. So let's see the video and see one by one how uh, I have thought it. It is a long process to teach all these concepts but I have bought it all into a one video so you can see how it is being done. Now uh, first, first you need to teach the child about being patient not to play around with the manipulatives and then you must teach the child how to count one by one gradually. If your child is 4 plus years like as mine the child should be able to do all these things by themselves so you need to get them settled by four plus years to to do table activities without being impatient so let's watch the video and see what is it about so if you can see in this video i have used uh, teddy bears tiny teddy bears in different sizes and different colors i got this from ebay disclaimer this is not a sponsored video so anyhow um you can buy this from online or even you can use the things at home you can use uh, macaroni, you call it pasta, and then you can use different color cubes, anything that you will find in the market, but please make sure that it's not uh, chewable and it's not swallowable. Because I'm gonna place it on a whiteboard. So on the whiteboard, I have scattered it so then he can start his work. So the first thing I have told him to organize into a row. So what is he doing is he's sorting out into colors and then he's making the teddy bears in a row. Then I asked him to count. So what he did was he counted one by one, he counted one by one and he wrote the total number at the bottom. So once you, once the child keeps it on a row, you have to uh, draw a square at the bottom so the child has. So the child will count and then write the total number of manipulatives that is on each row at the bottom. So this is counting. So I suggest you if you are starting at the beginning, start by maybe maximum up to five objects. Start with zero to five with a small number and then gradually you can increase the counting. But then only the child will be able to count it in sequence. And then now let's see the next activity. Next activity was color sorting. As I told you, these manipulatives, I use it in different kinds of ways, in many ways. These are some of the summaries that I use it for. I have divided the board in four parts. And the next activity that he is planning to do is matching the colors. Now when matching the colors, again what I did, I used the whiteboard. I wrote the names of the colors, the four basic primary colors, and then I kept the teddy bears in front of it. I jumbled it and I kept it. So, and then what all he had to do is match the name with the teddy bear. This is one activity that we can use this teddy bears for. in this activity what you can see is the child is sorting it out according to a concept that is big and small so now if you see in the video he does it as big and small now after sorting it out for big and small uh, I, I kept it again jumbled up and I wrote the word big and small I would like to say it is very important the child learns the sight word so if the child learns the sight word for an example like big and small the na colors names uh, the names of the shapes so these are the sight words the child should learn by four years if you see in this video now he's grouping the teddy bears into big and small so he keeps the big ones on the word big and then he keeps the small ones in the word small as i said in the beginning this is not a one day process first i taught him what is big how to identify the sight word for big and then i i taught him the word small how to identify the word small 
because he is going on with his phonics i'll make another phonics video as well so you can uh, see how i teach phonics at home for him the child and once the child masters all his sight words the child is independent and the child gains the confidence how to do things alone by themselves without any help from a grown up they have taught him some addition now to begin with the addition obviously you have to introduce what is a plus sign you must say plus is add in and minus is take away equal means count all so these concepts were taught for him so i wrote the number at the bottom and then i asked him to count according to the number and keep it in the square and then once he keeps it and then he counts all together and then he uh, writes the total then again i want to give him another task the other task was i told him to decide i'm um, imagine any number that you would like to keep so he counted three teddy bears and then he kept another group of three teddy bears and then he wrote the total number and he counted as well the concept should not be stereotype it should be a different way of learning so the child's mind broadens in different concepts and different ways of thinking as well these are some of the activities that i have used these manipulatives for but if you do have any other but if you do have any other ideas how to use these manipulatives please comment down below Bye for now until we meet again in the video say bye 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 teddy say bye 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 bye, bye, -bye.